The last time we saw Thor in The Avengers Age of Ultron, Scarlet Witch tortured him with dark visions of Asgard. Subsequently, the Nordic God decided to visit his home, leaving the Avengers behind on Earth. Taking the latest news regarding Thor Ragnarok into account, which will hit the theaters next year, we decided to introduce you to the newest characters within the Thor universe and speculate a little bit on what the third movie has in store for us. The first new addition to the cast is going to be Jeff Goldblum, who is going to portray the Grandmaster. <laughs> Where exactly this being comes from is unknown. The Grandmaster definitely belongs to a race of hyper-intelligent beings who have existed ever since the Big Bang. Among these so-called elders of the universe is also the Collector, who we were last formally introduced to in Guardians of the Galaxy. Another connection to the Collector exists through the Infinity Stones. The Grandmaster used to be in possession of the Mind Stone, the exact Infinity Stone which currently resides within Vision's forehead. The Grandmaster is literally immortal thanks to the cosmic energy which flows through his veins. In addition to his enormous intelligence, he is also in control of life and death. He can cause someone's death with the power of his thoughts. He is also able to resurrect someone the same way. It's alive, it's alive. The most interesting thing about the Grandmaster, however, is the fact that he is a gambler. He loves to engage in gambling activities with his fellow higher beings, betting on different bands of heroes as his figures. He already played a game like that against death herself and abused the heroes of Earth for this purpose. Therefore, it could possibly be revealed that the Grandmaster might have been partially responsible for the civil war of our superheroes. I could do this all day. The Grandmaster might, however, only play a minor role in Thor Ragnarok, which may later be expanded in Marvel's Infinity War. After all, he used to be in possession of an Infinity Stone before and might therefore join in the battle against Thanos. I'll do it myself. The biggest threat for Thor personally, however, will probably be someone else, the goddess of death herself, Hela, who will be portrayed by Kate Blanchett. Hela was appointed by Odin personally to be the ruler of the underworld and caused Thor and his father trouble numerous times before. She always strives to expand her realm and has already formed an alliance with Loki and Malekith, the dark elf who we were introduced to in Thor the Dark World before. With the latter, she has stolen the souls of human beings before, which is why Thor has invaded Hell. It is more than possible that throughout the film she will steal the souls of the Asgardians with the help of Loki. That would also expand explain Thor's vision in Age of Ultron. We are all dead. Can you not see? If Hela was to join forces with Loki, she would certainly pose a huge threat that Thor, however, would not have to face on his own. We already know that Hulk will make an appearance in the film. In addition to that, Thor will also be able to rely on the help of familiar characters like Sif and Heimdall. Another new addition to the cast will be Tessa Thompson, who will portray Valkyrie. Valkyrie is the leader of the Valkyries and the strongest among them. She also has been a love interest for Thor before, which might just be the case in Ragnarok. Hey. The last mentioned cast addition is Carl Urban, who is set to play Scourge. Scourge is a truly tragic character. He earned himself the title The Executioner after his battle against the Storm Giants. Instead of rising to fame as a hero, he was instead turned to the dark side by Amora because of his love for her. She often used him for her dark plans, which she partially schemed with Loki. And so, Scourge was banned numerous times until he stopped Loki's plan to summon the end of the world, otherwise known as Rex. Ragnarok. He achieved that by taking part in Thor's invasion of Hell and ended up sacrificing himself for him. See where your power leads. While Doctor Strange is set to introduce magic to the MCU, Thor Ragnarok is going to expand the universe even further in order to show us what's at stake when Thanos gathers all the Infinity Stones. What do you think of the new cast additions? Are you looking forward to Thor Ragnarok? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see why Odin might be to blame for all the drama, check out our theory video. Or refresh your knowledge on Doctor Strange in our character breakdown.